Oh my God. Like closure wig me, please. <laughs> Don't ask me what's going on over here, okay? It's nothing but tracks. I gave the frontal wigs a run, okay? I believe I tried a total of four frontal wigs in the last couple of months, and um, I can safely say that they're just not for me. As long as they're making five by five, six by six, seven by seven closures, I'm good. If I could get the frontal effect without the hassle, I'm good. I feel Puerto Rican. I feel Puerto Rican. I'm feeling like I need to dance a little bachata, kizomba. Shoot, even some compa. Moving forward, the only time I feel like I am going to wear a frontal wig is if I get it through my personal vendor who makes small, medium, and large cap wigs or if I make my frontal wig. So y'all know one thing I'm not gonna do is keep you guys for long. So the wig comes from Asteria Hair. Here's all the goodies that came along with my unit. This is a 26 inch, 250% density, HD 5x5 lace closure wig. Here are the very, very small knots. And we all know that the smaller the knots, the better it will bleach. This is a water wave pattern. So I went ahead and I bleached the knots and I customized my hairline by plucking it and adding two swoops on the side to create my little baby hairs. And I added an elastic band. Do not mind that little white speck on the band. It came from the bleach um, from when I bleached the knots. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with the band first and then I'm pulling the entire unit back to lock and secure my wig. It's already looking good oh my goodness y'all this is why i am a closure girl frontals are nice but the upkeep is not for me the closure does me just fine and gives me exactly what i want and the fact that i could just throw it on and take it off whenever i please that is an a plus plus for me so i'm gonna stick to what i love and know which is the closure wig as I say so many times, if they keep making these 5x5, five 6x6, five five, six six, and 7x7 seven seven closures, I'm good off of a frontal. Now, in these clips, I'm going to show you guys why you don't want to cut straight across, even if you're wearing a HD lace wig, okay? You do not want to cut straight across. You want to do a zigzag motion if you're using little shears or um, scissors. You want to create that zigzag motion because it blends that lace in seamlessly okay trust me so I went back in with my piking shears and here I'm just laying my baby hair so my afro g mousse after I use my hair dryer on the band to kind of set the mousse um into the baby hairs I was pretty much done with installing my unit and that's pretty much it I just love being able to lay my lace where it needs to be laid i don't have to worry about the side or the ear tabs or having to go super crazy like i love this i love being able to just throw on my unit and go that is why i am a hard down lace closure girl this wig is super pretty i love a good waterway pattern and it's super long on me y'all know i'm five nine i'm a tall girl so yeah i am going to stick it out with the closure wig she ain't do me no wrong ever ever and i could throw her on and go i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below in the comments if you did and i'll see you all in my next one bye